Hello, this is my Piper, uh, Piper P38 Tomahawk, and we're going to go over a little. Uh, whoops, sorry, going to go over a little maintenance today. We're at the airfield just uh, here in New Braunfels, and I'm going to touch base with a couple of items here that you might want to know about. Three problems you're going to have with the uh, Piper, and basically one is your maintenance uh, for your problem with maintenance. It's going to be your mechanic. They're going to charge you $800 to do these. Uh, annual inspections, which is uh, my absolutely ridiculous because they don't do anything and you have to correct everything they're going to do anyway. But anyway, besides the other two problems, you're going to have a spark plug problem, which is your major problem. Here in your spark plugs, you're going to take off your ex uh, exciter, this this line right here, and then your spark plugs right here. Use a, do a, a deep well socket. Go ahead and pull your plug. Your bottom plugs are always getting dirty, so you're going to have to clean those bottom plugs and then just throw them back in. Uh, <clears throat> on your uh, brakes, of course, here's your reserve. Your brake reserve is going to get dirty. Clean it, and it's also going to get a little stopped up at times. So you can pull it off with these two screws. Access panel is here. Pull the access panel off. Uh, <clears throat> you've got a little uh, uh, a tightener uh, clamp in there. Loosen your camp clamp. Pull them apart. Drop it. Put new fluid in there. Put it back together. Put your panel back on. See how the fluid it comes out right here? That causes a little gunk. Clean that up. But for uh, pumping your brakes now, to pump your brakes on these uh, pipers, and they do give you a lot of problems on it. First of all, you have to come around to your piper on the brake pad, or where the brake pads are. And let's go ahead and get to this fitting right here. Now the fitting right here, you have to be careful, it's like an automotive fitting with this Zerk nipple, but there's two fittings right here. The master, which uh, you don't fool with, and then the actual drain, which is, uh, you can use any kind. You'll notice if you look really, really close, there's two two little fittings here, and is this is the nipple you have to loosen up. Loosen up that nipple with a with a uh, uh, you know any kind of wrench. Uh, I think it's about five to eight mils, something like that. Don't m loosen up the master. It comes as one unit, looks just like an automotive, but as opposed to an automotive, there's two little units right there. One you loosen up, loosen that up, uh, and then apply your little. One dollar ninety cent from any mechanic shop uh, bleeder. Uh, canister which is usually a little plastic cup with a with a purge valve in it you'll see them just ask any of the automotive shops or you can order it you don't have to get the fancy thing slap that on there after you loosen up your vert come in here and here's your brake pedal <laughs> Now, to uh, bleed brakes in a piper, all you need to do is open that fitting, come over here and pump that 10 times. Pump your parking brake 10 times. As you park your parking brake about 10 times, it's going to flush that, uh, that cylinder really nice. It's going to flush right on through there. It's going to uh, flush anything from the reserve to the pump. That's your master pump. Your parking brake is your master pump. It'll flush that. Go close that off after you've dumped about two or three and make sure there's no air in the line. Close that one off. Bring your little plastic uh, fitting over here to your uh, Zerk fitting on this one. Loosen the little nipple. Remember, do not try to take the whole nipple and loosen it. It won't drain. You have to lo loosen just the little nipple itself. About a five mil type of deal or an open wrench of any sort should uh, should get it. And then after you open that, put your plastic uh, uh, bowl on it. Go ahead. Come back here. Pump this. 10, check, pump another 10, check, and also make sure you're checking your reservoir at all, all at this time. Now, most people know this stuff, and I knew a lot of automotives mechanics, and uh, I used to pay my uh, my, my uh, mechanic about uh, 200 bucks to do this, and you can do it, and it's legal. It's totally legal. You, as long as you're not taking anything off or putting anything on, on your brakes, you're, you're, you're legal as far as uh, the, the uh, federal boys are concerned. But, but it's as simple as that. This system is set up to where you do not have to pump each brake like a brake pedal. You just, you Piper did this as a very nice system, you just pump your parking brake. Okay, and as you pump your parking brake, it will flush through. Fill your reservoir, you should have no problems at all. Now this plane is, uh, <clears throat> the P-38 Piper Tomahawk is an excellent airplane for flying. Has a tall tail on it. Uh, very elegant. A few little items there if you're going to purchase one that you always need to be aware of is that you have a fitting that needs to be checked every 250 hours back here. That's what this, this door is for, is to check that fitting. It has a 250 hour life. The wing, the wing on a uh, Piper, 
uh, Tomahawk also has is life limited to 10,000. So, uh, and for about 3,000, you can replace that part plus whatever your maintenance uh, crews are going to charge and everything. It, it's a good airplane if you get it from a school and you're going to keep this airplane and you spend fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. Well, you're never going to. Say you only had a, a hundred, a thousand or so hours on the aircraft. Well, it's going to give you more than that if you want to fly. It's going to give you a thousand dollars, a thousand hours of some of the cheapest best flying you'll ever have. Now, other than those items on a Piper, uh, th that's it. That's your major problems. Are your brakes, you know, get your brakes done. Your plugs, your plugs are the major problem and everything else will solve itself on a Piper, okay? That's about a six minute spill, so let's go ahead and do some flying, okay?